Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. WoW has our base undergone a transformation this year and it's going to go further remodeling uh, in the future, in the near future. Of course, <laughs> Minyaka just went berserk and beat up the entire colony. Um, if she didn't have such a good reason to go berserk, uh, we might not be able to forgive her. We might be exiling her from the colony, but she's been through a lot, so we're going to give her some grace right now. Um, Tronka is being a nice husband and patching her up, even though she was uh, just, you know, five minutes ago beating him up. So good on you, Tronka. Let's, uh, let's check everyone's injuries. Just a bruise here. Oh, for some reason he has set to any medicine. We're going to send him back to herbal medicine. Olga's got quite a few more injuries. I also have to set that for some reason. I don't know why we don't have those set. Um, yeah, Minyaka is going to take a long time to recover here. Too bad she can't preach health on herself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bump up the speed here. Um, so on the plan for today, I think once everyone's healed up and doing well, we're going to see about like remodeling some of these houses. Um, I think we'll start with maybe some of the like single bedroom houses and then uh, kind of work our way up from there. So I think we'll start by remodeling Olga's house for sure. Because Olga can sleep in this uh, children's bedroom uh, to begin with. Because I don't think Minyaka is going to have her baby for quite a while. So that bedroom is going to be open. Uh, Minyaka and Olga are, of course, back at it. So we need to make sure they re-equip their appropriate weapons. Minyaka was doing melee, wasn't she? Um, did she already equip it? Gear. No. Here they are. I don't know why I was looking in the wrong place. Okay, so Minyaka, I need you to go ahead and equip your club. Olga, I need you to go ahead. I'll let you finish eating. I need you to go ahead and equip this recurve bow. So you're ready for the next attack. Minyaka. Okay, I was going to say you didn't equip your club. There you go. So hopefully Tronka and Jay um, heal up real quick. Olga and Minyaka will be a longer time. Severe pain for Olga. Severe pain for Minyaka. Oh boy. Um, looks like a shuttle arrived. What's the shuttle for? Zippity. Oh, is it Zippity the rabbit? The hare, sorry. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and auto load this. And is anyone awake to do that? Tronka, I nominate you. Tronka, I nominate you. You're going to carry Zippity into the shuttle. And now that it's going, let's send it. Pods arrived with 11 Glitter World Medicine. Ooh, that's important. Who's gonna haul that Glitter World Medicine in? Minyaka? You look like you're ready to do that. Where did it go? I already lost track of it. Don't haul the wood. Haul the Glitter World Medicine. Somewhere safe. That'll be important. Next time we get an infection, we can beat it off quickly. All right. We're getting raided. These guys are going to prepare for a while before attacking. They have a shortbow warrior. Let's check the shooting stats with seven shooting skills. Okay, we definitely need to be concerned a little bit about this person. An eight skill melee warrior and a four skill archer. Okay, so Toll we don't need to worry about, but Blue Jay and Gubia definitely need to be priorities here. Now, there's really not much we can do to preemptively attack them. I think we'll try to rest up and wait for them to come to us. I'm really hoping Jay can like miraculously recover in time, but I don't know if that's going to happen before they start attacking. I have to I have to imagine that like injured colonists fight less effectively. That's probably the case. All right, so they are beginning their assault. Let's go ahead 
and get everybody ready for this assault. Where do we want to meet them? They're probably going to come up either around here or around here. Now we can try to get them while they're in the water. I think that's a good bet. So let's see if we can rush down here. Looks like they're splitting up their their attack. Okay. Okay, Gubia is being attacked by Tronka. Tronka's gotten off a couple good hits already. Does Olga have any fresh hits? No, okay, they haven't gotten off any hits on us and we've already gotten off a couple on them. That's perfect. Now, this is our eight melee. So we're not gonna have Minyaka engage in melee. We're gonna try to take this guy out at a distance. Okay, perfect. Now these two shooters should be much easier to take out. We're gonna go ahead and put Tronka behind a tree here. We're gonna go ahead and make sure Jay's behind a tree. And we're gonna make sure Olga's behind this other tree. We have cover for all of our colonists. Um, Minyaka can probably run across the stream and engage them with melee, but I don't think we necessarily want to do that. I'm gonna let Minyaka off the hook. I don't want her having a mental break in this in the middle of this dangerous like shootout. All right, so Olga is down. Minyaka, I actually need you to rescue Olga. That's gonna be your your contribution to this battle. There you go. Did Olga drop his bow? He did. Okay, so they're fleeing. We took down another of their colonists. They bring with them seven herbal medicines, and some pemmican as well. Um, here's this guy. Do we want to recruit this guy? Male, age 44, really good at melee. He's a slow learner. He's lazy. I don't like either of those tra traits. Those traits are bad enough that I just don't think we're gonna even consider taking this guy in. Okay. Um, Tronka and Jay, I'm going to unrecruit you. Minyaka, you still need to rescue Olga. Okay, there we go. Um, Jay, I'm actually going to have you not equip this recurve bow. I'm going to have you haul this recurve bow into storage to keep it safe for Olga when he recovers. Some simple meals as well. Good. Um, these dead bodies, why is it all green? Minyaka's in a daze. Of course she is. Of course she is. So I was going to start the plans. Um, I know I don't really want to start building until we're all healed up because I don't want to, you know, create too much work for my colonists before we're even ready. But I think that uh, we can start pl making plans for like the the improved houses. So I like the idea of having this like workshop attached to Olga's house. Um, we could almost kind of have this as like a hallway that leads into like a bedroom at the back. The bedroom can honestly probably be a little bigger than that. Yeah, I think this is like a nice size for the bedroom. Yep, so I think we'll have this act as a kind of hallway. Um, we can create, put like a decorative something in there. Um, we're gonna have this as an opening to kind of a common area. Um, let's see, can we fit like a kitchen in here? I think we're gonna want a little bit more space in this common area. Okay, well, we can keep the door here. I think we'll create a little kitchen area, maybe in here. We can put like a, we can put like a, like a field stove right here. And then out here we can have like a couch and a table or something. Yeah, I think this'll, this'll be a nice house layout. Okay, so we're gonna wait till all of our colonists are recovered before we consider, you know, actually building this. 
All right, Olga is finally not incapable of walking, so Olga's going about his, you know, regular day-to-day -day business. Apparently making robes. So Chanka finally has a robe too now. Okay, so we have all of our colonists robed up. What is, uh... What is Olga working on now? A bearskin tail cap. We're gonna get some uh, some hats as well. I think hats and robes. That'll be a good look for our colony. We'll be ready for the winter this time. No hypothermia. No, thank you. I don't know about the kid. The kid's gonna be born sometime, and I don't think you can like make a kid's wear robes or anything. So we have to make like. Can you make a kid parka? I think you can. Kid pants, kid parka. Okay, so we'll definitely make the kid a parka so the kid doesn't freeze. We have hungry pen animals. Why are they so hungry? There's like plenty of grazing around. I think there is, at least. Um, we should probably, you know, all these baby sapling trees are taking up space where grass could be growing. So we should probably chop them all down. Yep, 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 yep. Grass only in the pen, please. We have a big enough pen. I wonder if it would be worth kind of extending it out to here. We can definitely do that. Give him some more space. Um, we'll, we can build the gate in just like right here. Okay, so now that that's all done, we can deconstruct this all and give our animals access to new grazing. New lands for grazing. There you go, look at all the animals so desperate to eat. Okay, good thing we did that then. I know we have all this hay stockpiled, we could just have them like eat the hay. But... I kind of want to save this for winter because last winter it was a little bit touch and go. We don't want to have them eating the hay any sooner than they need to be. Look at all of that stuff they grazed on is just immediately gone. Oh boy. It's going to be a rough winter, I can already tell. I can already tell. Look, Olga put on the hat. He made his first hat and he put it on immediately and he looks fantastic. It's a good hat. Oh my gosh. So now if we go into the stats for his character, what is his minimum comfortable temperature? He can, he can withstand negative 32 Fahrenheit. Um, okay, well, I think the old robe and hat is a really good idea for us. Um, Jay's got one too now. Jay's got a poor bearskin tail cap. Okay, not as good as Olga's good one, but... Olga's practicing. Olga's improving his craftsmanship, um, which is already at level 8, employable professional. So Olga's doing all right by us. Okay, I think now is an appropriate time to start building our, like, new renovations. Okay, so I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to wait until these are built, and then we're going to go ahead and, like... Deconstruct this wall, deconstruct this wall. Winter must finally be getting here. All of our plants are dying from the cold. So we're gonna go ahead and press F so that we don't allow new sowing of new crops. And we need to settle in for the winter. It's gonna be a rough one. Um, we can probably remove these plants here. We're gonna want to reinstall the bed. Um, probably here it's a normal wooden bed so that's good for us I think right now we'll have the bed like this um, we can reinstall this poor dresser no I just think we'll build a copy if it's a poor one we'll just go ahead and build a copy um, we'll go ahead and install the dresser like right here at the foot of the bed I'm almost considering just making this just giving everyone like a queen queen size bed. Might as well. Give everyone a queen size bed. Yeah, that's nice. 
That's real nice. Okay, perfect. Um, that means we can deconstruct this bed. Um, there's an alpaca wool armchair. We can probably reinstall like a chair in the room. I think it's nice to have a chair in a bedroom. Really ties the place together. Um, we could put that like here or something. Mm, I'm gonna cancel that. I'm going to reinstall the chair here next to the dresser. And we're going to build a cooler or kind of like an end table. The cooler doubles as an end table right next to the right next to the chair. All right. This place is looking looking good. Now, of course, this uh, end table again ended up being poor. So we're going to want to deconstruct this, deconstruct this. The wooden dresser ended up being normal, though, so we'll take it. We're going to want to try to build another yet another end table. The next thing we're gonna need for this beautiful house is a hallway. There we go. I don't like this door here. I also don't like this torch here. I'm gonna build this torch right here deconstruct this one and we are going to rebuild this door to be here maybe that's an alright place for the door I haven't decided yet we're gonna go to furniture we're gonna kind of spruce up this spruce up this house a little bit no that is way too big of a table we want a small table like this um, I think like a nice place for a table might might be like right here. We can put a couple chairs. Maybe like this. We can include a couch. Ooh, what kind of couch do we want to build? Um We're probably gonna wanna replace most of these with like nice like leathers or wools or something, but for the time being we can just do like a plain leather couch this like central living area this is real nice all right so uh olga is now fully healed yay um the house is almost completely uh built and ready along with a good plain leather couch in here fantastic we can get rid of this passive cooler i think we're gonna put some maybe artwork in here once we get some um and actually i'm gonna extend out this kitchen just a little bit it feels a little cramped um so we're gonna extend it out just like one longer, give a little bit more kind of open space at the opening of the kitchen. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this house is looking great. Um, if we check the bedroom, now it is mediocre impressiveness compared to what was probably awful before. Yep, its wealth is somewhat rich, its space is somewhat spacious, though it still has um, a beauty rating of ugly, but that's probably because everything is built with like wood and torches and stuff but we can definitely improve the prettiness of it as we start to get like stone tile work and stuff. But um, yeah, as far as I can tell, this is a uh, really good looking bedroom. It's got a poor end table though, so we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna keep deconstructing any poor, poor furniture that we create. We only want normal, normal or better furniture in here. We've got a normal table, we've got a normal dining chair, we've got a normal dining chair, okay, good. All right, so I think the next bedroom we'll target will be probably Jay's bedroom. Um, actually, we're gonna wanna plan out this because we might have to move Jay's bedroom like out somewhere once we kind of re refigure this, this house situation. This house is gonna be a little different because we probably wanna create it as like a two bedroom or possibly even three bedroom house future planet for having children you know but before we do that we got a new quest crowbar and the guinea pigs a three-year-old child named crowbar is calling from nearby she says a pack of six man hunting guinea pigs are running are hunting her oh boy a three-year-old child we can't we can't reject maybe this is the child this is the child we've been waiting for 
this is uh, this is the universe telling us that we were meant to have a, another chance at getting a child. Um, okay. Let's protect her. We can take on a pack of six man-hunting guinea pigs. Sure. Crowbar joints. Oh, oh, please don't let me regret this. Please don't let me regret this. Please don't let me regret this. Six man hunting guinea pigs. That cannot be that bad. Crowbar joints. Hi, right, what's up, kid? Okay, let's check out this kid. Um, oh, it's a three-year-old. So, of course, the kid's not going to have any traits or anything. Um, health. No health issues. Um, childhood. Child. The child does not follow our religion, but we can see about converting converting him or her. Her, okay? Female, age three. Fantastic. Well, this can be your bed. I'm gonna reassign this to Crowbar. Crowbar, you are being adopted by um, Minyaka and Tranka. They're happy to take you in. Okay, so we're definitely going to want to create a three-bedroom house because now we've got crowbar to fit in as well as the current baby that's also there. All right, here's the here's the man-hunting pack, the scary pack of of guinea pigs. <laughs> it's just like four of them, as far as I can see. I thought there were supposed to be six man-hunting guinea pigs. Are we gonna get snuck up on from an, another angle of attack that I didn't see? Okay, nothing that I can see. To arms, everybody. Olga. Olga needs a weapon. Equip your recurve bow. Everyone else? Let's get ready for this. The attack of the guinea pigs. We're gonna wanna get them as they, they come through the water. All right, Olga, come down here by the riverbank. Okay. Already taken out one. Alright, Jay, you can move down here. Oh, you guys are gonna have to shoot better than that. Alright, Minyaka. That's your cue. Okay, Minyaka, continue to move in. Perfect. Everyone? Dealt with like a pro. I'm real proud of you guys. Now, what gear does this kid come with? This kid, this kid comes with a romper and a parka. That's probably the best we could have given the kid, anyways. So this kid is all set. Crowbar. Now, do we have anyone set to childcare? Minyaka and Jay are handling childcare. They have good skills, um, good social skills for it. So perfect. Slaughter Minyaka. Has a mental breakdown and is going to vent her anger on your animals. Pregnancy mood collapse. Oh, I guess just like being pregnant just means like she's going to have some mood issues. Is she going to slaughter all the animals? It's a good thing we got a lot of them. We can always tame more alpacas. Please tell me we're not left over with only male alpacas. No, okay, we still have a breeding pair. Okay, Minyaka. Did you get it all out? Death, alpaca 17. Ancient mech. Passing near the remains of an ancient exocyte mechanoid, Crowbar noticed an intact transponder inside. If you could get the transponder, you could read valuable information from it. Okay, interesting. We'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. No. Minyaka, stay away from the cows. Those we don't find them in the in the wild to tame. We still have our breeding pair, but Minyaka, Jesus Christ. Okay, Minyaka's back to normal. Um, Minyaka, no, I'm gonna let you rest before you absolutely go nuts with another mental break. But in the morning, I'm gonna have you try to um, to convert Crowbar to our religion. Crowbar is going to be staying with us. Crowbar is going to need to be brought into the fold. Um, now let's go ahead and see what kind of plans we can do 
with a home here. I think it'd be nice if we had like a central kind of common area. And since it's a three bedroom home, we're gonna want a big common area. This can probably just be the common area. Um, off to one side, we can have uh, a bedroom. Yep. We can have a bedroom there. We're gonna want a kitchen area. Maybe the kitchen area just comes out like this, to be honest. We create a little one, two, three. Yep, a little field stove right in there. Um, we can like eat it and everything out here. So we can have like a child's bedroom that's kind of long across there. We can create maybe a hallway here. And we can create the master bedroom. We can create like the master bedroom around here. Give plenty of space for that. The master bedroom does not need to be that big. So I think we'll have a kind of hallway leading out here. Um, yep, I think this will be nice. So we can have a hallway leading out here and then we can have the last bedroom kind of take up this area here. It's gonna be a weirdly shaped bedroom. All right, this will be a funky looking house, but that'll be nice. That means we're definitely gonna need to move Jay's, Jay's house over as well. All right, uh, and we've gone ahead and laid out blueprints for another um, room down here. I think we're gonna move Jay's bedroom down here. Jay is a farmer, so it only makes sense that Jay lives down by the farm. Um, so we'll have Jay go ahead and be a next door neighbor to Olga. Uh, we're gonna have a bedroom in here. We're gonna have like a common room in here. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of mining, but that's nothing we can't handle. I don't think any of our colonists are particularly good at mining. No, but there's only one way to improve. And that's to actually do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will hopefully get these new uh, bedrooms all built out. And uh, our colony will be looking better than ever. I'll see you guys next time.